Hello, history hooligans. As we all know, wood, ducks, and witches can all float. But what about rocks? My name's Michael, I'm the Red Light Historian, and let's learn something new about something that's old. Like and subscribe. World War I came to a close on November 11th, 1918, and with it came many changes, with one such change coming in the form of shipbuilding. Post-World War I, metal was a scarce commodity due to its heavy use during the war effort. To help offset this, reinforced concrete began being used as a replacement for steel plates. This was especially true in shipbuilding. The actual idea and use of concrete ships dates back to 1848, when a Frenchman named Joseph Louis Lambolt built a concrete dinghy. Norway took this idea and ran with it, building an 84-foot concrete ocean liner in 1917. America wasn't too far behind, as it launched its own concrete ship in March of 1918 called the USS Faith. This new concrete ship was so successful that President Woodrow Wilson gave a budget of $50 million to create an entirely new fleet of concrete vessels, with these ships later being known as the Crockery Fleet. Not only were these ships capable of surviving hurricanes, but they were especially useful during World War II. This is because their concrete body wouldn't set off the magnetic trigger on underwater mines. Following World War II, concrete ships began to fall out of favor due to their questionable levels of efficiency. That being said, the concrete ships that remained were used for a variety of reasons, from holding prisoners of war to even being converted into a hotel. Today, most large boats are made from metal. However, some smaller boats, such as sailboats, are still crafted from concrete, and the rest was history. 